what's going on guys? Welcome back once again. It's me, Molt. Super stoked to be here with you guys today. I am out of town right now. I'm recording on my phone, so the quality... I'm sorry, it's gonna be a little bit less, okay? But I need a vacation. Uh, I'm out of town at a wedding out at the lake. Um, so my girlfriend and I are here, and uh, we're staying at my parents' house, and we are going to a wedding tonight. So I'm gonna be here for the next couple of days. It's gonna be a blast. Really excited about it, but check this out, guys. We go in here, we go to tournaments. We can see my progress. We got 12 wins, guys. 12 wins in the flying machine challenge. But here's the thing. Here's what I want to do, okay? So, we know that it's a rare, right? Oh, hey, look. OJ's video's in there. Nice. So, we know that the cards are rare, right? I want to... Um, we, we don't get to do gymming videos that much anymore. Um, but I wanted to do one for this because it's fun. Like, uh, you can gym as much as you want to to try and get, like, the Mega Knight, but... It's going to take a long time because it's a legendary. But with rares like this, it's going to take a lot less time. So currently we have it at level 1. So we're going to try and go level 1 to max. Okay, I don't know what's going to happen, but that's the goal. Um, also, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss any videos. And um, make sure that you hit the bell so you get notifications. Because in the first uh, about 15 to 30 minutes of all my videos, I'm starting to pin people's comments and responding to them. Um, so whoever comments in that has a chance to get it pinned and, and I'll respond to it. I just think it's kind of a cool way to interact with you guys. Um, and for you all to be able to support me by uh, turning on notifications whenever a video goes live. But... So we have 403 of them currently, all right? I, I did these deals right here. You can see I'm not going to keep buying those those $1 ones. Um, so we're going to just go through these giant chests, see what we get. Can... Yo, we just got lucky. Nice. I think my graveyard's max, though, isn't it? No, it's at 11, okay. But we also got 58. We got 58 of those right there, okay? Um, so come on, give it. Oh, another 57. Nice, dude. We're, I'm, I'm really hoping that we can at least get this up to, like, level... 9 or 10, something along those lines. Um, but we're just going to fly through these because most of this stuff you guys know, there's another one right there. Um, <laughs> I didn't see how many we got. Um, nice, another 27 right there as well. Keep on pushing through these. And then we're going to try and make a deck with it. So I don't really know um, how well it works right now. I am kind of high on the ladder, at least for me. I'm, I'm high up at um, almost 5,200. I was over 5,200, and then I kind of tilted um, and lost a little bit with my deck. Um, but at any rate, we're kind of high up, so it could be a little bit difficult for us to actually make this thing work. Um, but that's going to be the whole goal. So, we've got a whole lot of gems to use. As you can see, they're up in the top. We've got about 40 of these to open. Nice. We got more right there. Um, so, I'm just going to, we're going to go through these. And if you guys want, let, let, let me, let me take, okay, what, what should we, what should we talk about while I spam this? Um, let's talk about... Um, let's, let's talk about other videos, okay? So while I'm doing this, so as y'all know, YouTube's kind of in a weird spot right now, or at least Clash Royale on YouTube is, is, in, a, is in a weird spot right now, um, because pretty much every type of video has been, has been made. Um, and with cards coming out, like with one card coming out every couple weeks, um, you don't really get the mass like change of meta like we used to when, when four cards would come out. I'm going to scoot this back. Like, whenever four cards would come out, you'd get a huge change in the meta because it's like, all right, we have four cards to implement. Like, we, we literally, we could change half of our deck with the new cards that come out. Um, but currently, it's not really meta changing. Like, you could be like, okay, I'm going to use either a Musketeer, which has six range also, um, but can be targeted by ground troops, or I'm going to use the Flying Machine. And, and so it doesn't really change things. Like, the decks stay the same, you know? Um, so it's all, I, I kind of miss the days when four cards would come out at a time, but I know that that was very, very hard for the team to do and, and to try and balance and everything like that. So like, there, there's no way. There's just no way that that's going to be possible um, to come out with that many cards all the time like that. Um, but I have really been enjoying playing Bloons. I've been playing Brawl Stars a lot, been talking to the team. I'm like, yo, when is it coming out for Android? If you guys wanted to come out for Android, leave a like down below because I'm trying to show them like, yo, literally everyone, everyone wants it to come out on Android. And that's going to be so sick because once it comes out on Android, that, that means it's going to be global and so many people are going to be able to play it and it's just going to be a blast. That's, it's... I don't really, I don't get as upset or rage worthy in Brawl Stars, even though it's just as competitive of a game, because it's a team, and like you can, if you're playing with people you know, generally you can trust them, and like, you can grow together, you know, um, and, and so, so I'm excited about that, I'm excited for that team aspect, just like in 2v2 in Royale, like you can't really get mad when you lose, 
especially if you've chosen like the deck that you're using um, and and you have uh, another partner playing with you it just makes it more fun playing with other people you know so I'm really excited about it now we've gotten a whole lot of these we have um, a lot more to open 1320 are you kidding me I think that it takes over 2,000 though um, to level it up to max there's another one so that's gonna be the goal here, guys. Um, is to is to get it up. Maybe not. Maybe not in this video. But I would. I mean, who knows? I, like, I'm still gonna be able to open up uh, an okay amount of these. Uh, I think we get uh, about six more. And as long as uh, look at that. I mean, we're getting them a lot. We're getting a lot of them. There we go. Another 58 in that one. What? Let's go and more in that one too. Okay. Come on. How many are we gonna get? None there. I don't want those cannons. All right, come on. What are we going to get? Give it to me. Yep, 57 right there. Okay, we only have one more to open up, guys. Come on. Give it to me. Oh, bomb tower. That's okay. So let's head over here. We have 1,610 times 2, or out of 2. <laughs> so we need 2 to level it up, obviously, and we haven't gotten there quite yet. So let's go ahead and do this. We've got all the gold in the world that we can need. Level this bad boy up. Um, and then we're gonna throw it into a deck and see how we can go uh, see, see if we can make it see if we can make it work, you know um, So we are going to be able to get it up to uh, What are we at seven come on? Let me get it to nine. Ooh, maybe even ten ten yo Look at that. We're so close to max up to level 10. That's awesome. We know that level 11 is is maxed out for that you can go in here You can see that um, uh, right up at the top. Good. I, I, I just had a massive blank. So, you know, rares get maxed at level 11. So guys, we were just able to get it up to level 10. I'm going to play it in this Lava Hound deck. We're going to see how it works. It does go down to fireball. So you got to be aware, like if you throw, um, if you throw the flying machine with barbarians under it or with minions around it, like that's nine elixir that's gonna get taken out by four. So you just gotta be a little bit careful when it comes to that um, and knowing what you're putting around it. So it's cool seeing it in the deck though. I really, really like that. Um, I like the fact that we can see it in the deck there and, and know like, all right, we got this thing. Let's make this work. Um, RC is gonna go that route. And I don't know, uh, I think that this might be enough tiles for this to take this out. What do you guys think, huh? Yo, look at that, there we go. We're going to go ahead and just leave that right there. And nice, Ice Spirit doing work on it. And Musketeer is going to take it down, though, very easily. Ugh. See, it's even at max level, I don't think that it's going to be that strong, guys. Uh, and that's one of the biggest... Come on, come on, come on, come on. I feel like some... Well, no, I'm not even going to do it. Um, uh, I wish my cards would deploy faster sometimes because it can be very frustrating. Here we go, though. Look at this. See, there's that fireball I was talking about, though. Um, with that fireball, he was just able to take that out so unbelievably easily. Uh, it just took out everything. And so you got to be aware of that as you're playing with it. Um, a minute 56 here. He already used his... Um, I'm going to go... I'm going to go this route and see what we can make happen here. Um, all right, so we'll just go ahead and go uh, with this right here and we'll surround that and we'll get some of these down over here We're gonna lose a lot of health on that tower right there um, Because those guards are gonna stay alive for a very long time, but we can come in here with our inferno dragon um, And hopefully we can make uh, we can make some magic happen right here uh, Nice that one look at that that one spear goblin is still alive and the inferno dragons moving its way over and uh, Thank you very much. I'm gonna go and arrow this right here and take it out before all those get taken out And we should be able to do an okay amount of damage right there with those puffs. Yo, that's what I'm talking about Yes down to two health on it. Let's go now. We know that he has he has to counter these otherwise He's gonna lose that tower um, So oh, yep. Okay, so we just countered that he has six elixir uh, Six elixir he has 600 health left on this that so we do need to worry about I'm gonna go ahead and go right there and right here, uh, and he's gonna have to split up all of his damage, um, and we're gonna be able to take all of these out, I believe, yes, no damage done right there, nice. And we'll arrow this right here, and now we'll come in with the flying machine back behind it, and we'll go ahead and drop off these spear goblins as well, split them up just a little bit. Flying machine targeted on the musketeer. Now the flying machine got targeted by 
the tower as it popped, which was really, really unfortunate. Um, but we can go ahead and counter this as well. And I'm going to go straight back over here to this push. And if he comes in with his elite barbs, um, then I'm done. Oh, no, I didn't even realize that that wasn't down yet. So we'll go ahead and just do that real quick. <laughs> and we'll go over here as well with these. And we'll surround right here. There's a first win, guys. First win with the flying machine. That's what I'm talking about. All right, guys. So that first win, uh, I'm going to say it was a lucky one. <laughs> Still trying to figure out the uh, flying machine. Not really working for me. I'm out of the lake. So instead of spending my time upstairs trying to figure out a new card that nobody else is using, uh, then I'm just going to go hang out by the water, hang out with my girlfriend and the dogs and everything like that. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, and we'll keep on working on the flying machine, see if we can get it to work, see if we can figure it out. See what kind of deck it works in. Um, I, th I don't know if I mentioned this earlier on in the video, um, but I really, I, I miss the days of, of getting four cards at a time, you know, because whenever you get one, a lot of times you just don't see people implement the card. But when there's four of them, it's like, shoot, I can change half of my deck. But whenever you get one thing like the flying machine, it's like, okay, well, maybe I'll just trade out uh, my musketeer. And it doesn't really change the deck. It doesn't really change the meta. Um, but I can imagine how hard it was for the team coming up with four cards every month to release. Like, it's a lot of work. Um, and it's kind of hard to, to find balance along those lines. Um, but I miss that. I miss when it kind of just like forced a change, when everybody tried new things and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, at any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'm going to continue playing balloons, probably post some Brawl Stars and some stuff like that because honestly like it's not all about the views it's not all about posting um what gets the most views and everything it's about what's it's it's about having fun um and and we've talked about kind of uh where i'm at right now so i love balloons balloons has been a blast uh brawl stars has been a blast and uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you hit that like button i'll see you on the next one peace